drivers and saws and motorized this and that, they're also about countertop convection ovens. And you know what? They are an industry leader in this and they do it really well. How are you Hi, doing? sweetie. Mwah. Don Magic is here with us. Hi, everybody. And she's got something really fantastic. This mm -hmm. is the Black & Decker Expert Temp Turbo Convection Oven. Turbo means this is cooking 25% faster. 25% faster, which is really, really great. But I want to show you something. Here I want to show you the functionality. This is a really, really smart oven. So here we have toast. We have bagels. We have bake. We have pizza. But we don't just have pizza. These were frozen pizzas. You can see here I can do fresh pizzas, I can do frozen pizzas, I can do rising pizzas, and I can do a um, crispy pizza. But look at all the functions. And we go down to broil. Hold on, we want to get to broil. We have roast, we have snacks. 20% faster is a really big deal. We have warm and we have reheat. This is something that does everything and it does it well. But I will tell you, David, I've had a lot of countertop ovens in my life. Uh -huh. This is the first one that actually could make toast. Oh, so wow. I have been able to eliminate the toaster off my counter. And this doesn't take up much more room than that did. And I don't have to do just two slices at a time. I can do two, four, or six. Because what I'm going to do is I put it on the toast function. Now it's going to say, how dark do you want? I want about medium darkness. And it's going to ask me how many slices. Do I have two, three, four? I'm going to have four. And I'm going to hit the start button. It's going to know what to do. The top and the bottom are going to be browned perfectly. Center is going to be moist. And it's just that easy to will do. Will it shut itself off when it's done? It will certainly shut itself off. See, that's the problem with toast. If you don't, uh, if you're not careful with toast in an oven, it can burn because the ovens don't typically turn themselves off. That's right. And this is my favorite. This is my weekly roasted chicken. I have my butcher take the backbone out. I butterfly it. I put it on lemons and onions. And I will tell you, this is perfection. But not only that, why I have the chicken cooking, I'm able to roast my vegetables. Nice. You have so much flexibility on there. And you know what? If you decide you don't want to try my recipe, which I highly recommend, just a little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper, and you're good to go, you can put a whole chicken in here easily. And here I'm just going to hit the roast function. But you know, you don't have to preheat this with everything. Every function knows what it's going to do. And how to do it. So we're just going to take this down to roast and it's going to ask what temperature. We're going to keep it at 350 and then we can set the time. We can go up to two hours or we can go nonstop. I want to check this at an hour and see how we're doing. I'm going to hit start. Good to go. Love it. So whether you're doing side dishes, you're mm -hmm. cooking pizzas, you're going to be doing your uh, main event, roasting, mm -hmm. whatever you've got going on, baking a cake in here. This becomes the oven that you reach for, that you go to rather, yes. um, throughout the whole summer months. Because when you're, when you're using this oven, you're not heating up the whole kitchen. Right. You're not using the big oven that really tremendously adds to that whole heat equation in the summer months when it gets so terribly hot. Mm -hmm. So this is your chance to have that oven that works beautifully. Now, I want to remind you, this is Black & Decker. It is Look brand new that. today. Four easy payments of $30 thanks to our Easy Pay event. Mm -hmm. So four easy payments. But that Easy Pay plan is only good for the next 20 minutes. You wow. want to get your Easy Pay now. Now here's here's what everybody's go to is it's really important that we're able to feed our family and we're able to feed them fast and quick. I think one of the biggest things that we do in our you know ovens is just French fries, chicken tenders. It's what everybody does and it's a good go to. So I'm going to show you how this one works. We're going to go down to the function and it's, see where it says snacks. There's no preheating required, which I love about this oven. In most of the functions, there's no preheating. It's going to turbo. That means we're going to cook 20% faster, and it's at convection, meaning that air is going to circulate. I don't have to worry about the bottom being burnt. You know how like wall ovens are constantly reheating themselves, and you have to worry about rotating everything? When you have one of these, you don't have that worry anymore. But here, I'll show you all the beautiful features of this. Here we have a crumb tray, love very it. simple. We have a beautiful glass door that cleans up lovely. The handle's nice and far from the door, but here we give you two of the racks, and these racks go all the way to the back, so you can fit like a 13, 12 to 13 inch pizza in here, no problem at all, and then we give you a baking rack as well. But here we have that functionality, and that's what's so important. You have toast, you have broil, you have bake, you have pizza. You have everything you need to do, and it knows what to do. So it's going to ask you a few questions, hit the button. But if you have any concern and when you get started, I would say just refer to your guide, and you will find everything you need in there.
which is really great. They're just perfect. And I love that all the features are highlighted on the control panel. So Isn't no that wondering nice? Or no wondering. You know, trying to figure out what's going on. And when things are done, it's going to beep a couple times to let you know things are done. That's a really nice feature, too. But, David, you know how I say with the George Foreman grill, it's a great way to teach the family how to start cooking? Mm -hmm. I think when you want your kids to start using an oven, this is the way to go. The wall oven tends to burn people, and this is so much nicer. Now, here we did two mac and cheese. This is the adult mac and cheese. It's got some lobster and mushrooms in it. But then we have the David mac and cheese. Oh, Just good. is this Carol's mac and cheese? It is. Have you had mac and cheese yet today? Uh, I don't think today. Well, that's that's unheard of. I'm hoping you're gonna you're gonna change that for me. I am gonna change that because this is Carol's mac and cheese, oh, and this is just Carol. amazing. She makes the best mac and cheese there is, mm. and she shares the recipe, which I really which we really have love on about my her. Page. Yes, this is recently as this week. So I'll let that cool a bit as we go down the line. Yes. It's also important to know that this machine is got the turbo feature. Yes. And turbo means this is cooking 20% faster. It's also cooking more evenly because that fan circulates, that convection fan, yes. circulates the air so you get the really even heat distribution. Which is so important, and that's what I'm talking about. Now, we made these two quiches. Look at the crust on there. That's why you put it in the glass for you. That's perfectly cooked. Now, if I made these yesterday, I could put my oven and I could hit the the reheat function, which I use all the time because I lot, frequently I bring food home. Stop that, with David. I bring food home from restaurants and I use that reheat function. But say I had just made them, and what I could do then is I could go to the warm function. So you have a lot of variability that you can do. You can keep it warm or you can actually reheat it. But look at this. I mean, David, we cooked this big pie in here. That's a peach pie. It cooks that beautifully. Look at the crust. And nine inch rounds, your cakes. Oh my. How perfectly does that cook? Couple chocolate chip cookies before you get settled in for that movie. You can do so many things. You can do it faster. You can do it with greater reliability. Mm. And you're doing it with the industry leader in countertop ovens, Black & Decker. Did we hit it Ooh. all, David? I think you did, just in the nick of time, my darling. <laughs> hey, this is four easy payments on thank your credit you. card. Want to thank you, Dawn. Hope you have a great, great rest I of your weekend. I will. I hope yours as well, too. Thank you, darling. Thank and you, everyone. And honk, honk, food truck race. Uh, we've got, we have sold out of the all clad, so that is gone. OK, we're going to check back in with Stacy. She's got a little Instagram to share with you. I'm going to have another bite, bite of mac and cheese. Why? Because it's here. Of course you will. Yeah. We know that. Hi, hey, everybody. At the top of the show, when we started chatting at 12 o'clock, I asked you to send in your foodie photos on Instagram and post them. And here's some of them. Mary, look at this. A smoked spiralized hot dog in a bakery fresh roll with homemade Cincinnati chili with cheddar and onions. I mean, look at that. Isn't that amazing? Yum. I can put, oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, Meredith, croissants and Southwest chicken salad made with chicken from Heartland Fresh with a hint of orange marmalade. Wow, is that creative? Here we got homemade meatloaf with ground turkey and a diced tomato honey balsamic sauce. And there you go, David, homemade mac and cheese. She knows how to do it just the way you like it. That's from Sarah. And Lynn, Lee and Mindy, big oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. What do you think of that, my friend? Hey, have you heard about this new trend of, of, of doing just one cookie, like a big cookie? Yeah. Like moms get the kids on the school bus and they're doing these smaller cookie recipes where they make one big one and have it with a cup of coffee? No. I yeah, Tina Varelli was telling me. Really? About it. See, I'm a terrible baker. That's why I haven't heard about it yet. You know what? I have a solution <laughs> for you. Bake. What? Slice and bake. <laughs> hey, I'm a big fan of slice and bake. I think they're delicious. Um, all right, so, you know what else is delicious? Something from a company called Delicioso, yes. which is Irish for yummy. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, it's Italian for 